I'm Blair. I'm police officer for Victoria Police at Seymour Highway Patrol, and I live at, in the Macedon Ranges in central Victoria. Been diagnosed with PTSD, anxiety, and depression. Those pretty raw still. It's only sort of been since you know the last few months that I've been dealing with it. Something that's probably been brewing in the background for a few years, um, and just pretty much seeing that email and getting onto the surf course sort of really opened my eyes to, yeah, it's not just me, it's something we need to sort out. And with me, my, oh, the PTSD and the anxiety at work was really impacting at work, like going to some, some of the um, jobs we'd have to go to, I'd feel um, physically like, sick. One instance where I vomited before getting in the car, which is, you know, is what it is. But probably the worst, the hardest bit was, and the bit that would made it um, tough to deal was with bringing it home and then not taking it out on the family, but just not being there as connected as I should have been with my family. I found that pretty, I, well, that was pretty hard to deal with, just knowing that um, I could do better as a, as a dad and a husband. No one can tell you to take that step for yourself. And then that gave me relief as to, yeah, we're doing the right thing here, trying to get this sorted. Being recently diagnosed, one of the things that came up actually during the week was through the WorkSafe insurer said, oh, we can hook you up with a gym membership. And I couldn't think of anything worse than being inside in a gym. I want to be outside, in fresh air, and I asked them if they had any, anything like that, had nothing that she could put me onto. One of those things is to be outside, I think it's part of it too, just not being indoors. Operation Soul Surf has done heaps of stuff for me, like just other than I've got a new sport and pastime, like I know the benefit that I'm gonna be going home with is priceless. Being with a group of people that you know that are going through similar stuff, because everyone's story is completely different, but going to be similar down to the nitty gritty of it all. Um, I just, I felt that if I could be in a group of people anywhere, I'd feel isolated and really alone. Like I could be in a pub full of people with an out for dinner or something and then still feel real isolated. And after that, even that first initial meeting at the first um, lesson we did down here, I found just knowing that the people was dealing with similar sort of stuff as a group, that isolation disappeared. At the, at the end of the four weeks, I went round to Trigger Brothers here. Those guys hooked me up with a new board, got a wetsuit, and just, that's it, get going. Like, Operation Self Surf's, I found just so beneficial. It's put me on a really good pathway to, probably for not being the gym junkie and enjoying that sort of, yep, indoors sort of fitness and training. I think being in the sea and on the, anywhere near the ocean, the healing effect it has, I used to think it was a bit wanky, you know, a bit herbal. I know it puts me in a good place. I don't know what it is about it, it just, if I'm in the ocean, near the beach, I just feel better. I don't, for, I don't know what reason. And I'm forever sharing it and direct messaging other members of so like Vic Pole and defence members that I know to try to get them on board, even if it, they don't enjoy the surfing, if it can start the conversation about mental health and PTSD, I think it's beneficial for everyone. <laughs>